so I'm Damon Martin. I'm, we're at Adams State University. This morning we're going to be doing four miles and then three miles for the upper class varsity boys and the gals will be doing three and three and the, the other groups a little bit less. We're at 7,544 feet, uh, you know, about 2,300 meters. And uh, the pace today for the varsity boys, they're going to start at about 525 pace, 530 pace, and then they'll drop it down. Hopefully at the end, they'll be running like maybe 515 pace, that kind of thing. And I, I think for this early, that's a, a good mark, good measure for them at this altitude. The upper class men, you're going to do four and then three. You're going to get three minutes in between, okay? We'll try to, if you, as long as you're in a group, you know, we'll, we'll average the time and we're going to give you about three minutes, okay? Every year we have different kids on the team. Uh, we're bringing in new recruits. We have kids that graduate. We, we try to keep the kids in the mindset that it's not about what we did last year. You can't affect that. You can't change that. Um, and, and keeping them hungry. I don't want any workout heroes today, all right? Today, run the paces that you're supposed to run, okay? I know flow tracks here. Don't be doing anything stupid, all right? Just run the times you're supposed to run. Last year, we graduated like uh, Tabor Stevens, who was a seven-time NCAA champion for us, and it was at a high, high level. Uh, Kevin Batt was a high level. Matt Daniels was a sub four minute miler. And so when we have guys like that that graduate and leave, all of a sudden I think people say, oh, there's going to be a void in the program or it's not going to be as good. And so I think it's easy to keep them motivated that way. I think it's sometimes when you have a mix and, and the front group is doing what they should be doing and, the, and then the second group is thinking, well, geez, we don't have to worry so much if we got those guys to rely on you know, they become a little complacent or don't do the, the necessary things. So I think just staying on top of what their mentality is and making sure that we funnel it into what it needs to be. And there's certainly years that I think that it's more evident that they have to be focused that way. Um, I would say this year would be one of those. How are they looking so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's coming along. I was 10.54 at the two mile. Let's go, Robert. I, I truly believe that the altitude, you, you know, you, you have to get to where you work with it versus against it. And um, when, when it's tough here or it gets windy, it gets windy in the spring. Uh, and so rather than going out on the track, many days I just take a, a van or two vans or three vans and we'll go out on a dirt road like we were this morning and, and I'll have them run. Uh, maybe I'll measure off a couple distances at you know the first beginning and get them into a, a pattern, a, a rhythm, a uh, neuromuscular rhythm, and uh, I'll time the first couple and then after that we'll just run for time and effort and they'll have the wind at their back and uh, maybe even we'll, we'll run a little faster than what we normally would at the end. The team out right here? Yeah. How yeah, they to they're doing a great job. It's a good start. They're not going too fast, and so uh, they're running within themselves. So, what, what were the groups at? Uh, the first group of boys was um, the first group of boys was. Let me think here. They were at 16:05, so about 5:25 pace, right on. Yeah, hopefully they can just uh, not get it too excited and just stay right at that pace. Yeah, we guys lucked out on the weather today. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. I'm really proud that. Uh, that so many kids uh, are doing such a good job on a, on a great morning. Coming into this year, I knew that we were going to have to be more on top of our game in the summer training because uh, we have to have some develop. We have to have some kids to develop to be uh, where we want to be at the end of the year. And, and I think that when you have a young team. You can't get too excited, but they have to put the work in. You can't just be pulling it out at the end of the season. So they they were supposed to hit about 2140, and they were about 2130. So they were just a few seconds a mile fast. So it's probably about uh, 522 pace or so uh, for the first four mile segment. So they should pick it up about five seconds a mile this next three miles. But with a young team, you know, we, we, we're going to have to develop and start to build some confidence and be at certain parameters in our training. And I think, you know, they've, they've done a really good job, both men and women, um, are uh, probably spot on where I'd like them to be.
a good portion of us uh, live here pretty much year round, go home for a couple weeks. And then we come back usually around June, July and just keep training together, meet every morning, just that way we kind of keep each other accountable and uh, make sure everybody's you know getting the work in, working hard. So it definitely kind of sets you up good for when this time of year when you start moving into harder workouts and that, that you're, everybody's kind of ready for. We've been working together all summer long, which I don't know if a lot of teams do that, but I think that's one thing that you know, just kind of helps us come together a little bit. Yeah, so, so last year you guys had a little more of a veteran crew, lost a few uh, heavy hitters there, but uh, what's kind of the team, the team atmosphere uh, this year now? Oh, uh, it's kind of like a, a changing of the guard. With with losing Kevin and Matt and Tabor, it's there's a big leadership void that needs to be filled, and uh, they're great role models on and off the track or the course or whatever. We're kind of finding a new identity as a team. We don't really have like really an established top guy, top two guys, top three guys. We really just have a, a strong contingent of five, seven, ten guys that really can make a difference and are going to be the leaders of the team. I think one of the big differences this year compared to last year is that last year we had a lot of potential that had been seen and this year we have a lot of potential that hasn't been seen. And I think that's I think that's how we see it. How'd that go? It's good, yeah, it's fun. What was your time on the second one? This, was this three mile right here? Yeah, I think we were like 15, 50 or something like that for three. So yeah, right on what coach wanted us. So. Perfect. So. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. I think it's a process here. It's a, it, you know we have kind of our own um, way of doing things, and so um, not that they're perfect or anything, but it has to be a lifestyle. You know, is training as hard as they do? They have to be recovering, and they have to be sleeping at night, and, and things of that nature. Here, you have to be hungry. I mean, you have to be. Uh, you have to have this insatiable appetite to, to be great. Yeah.